All right, now that you've got the treads finished up, and you can see here on my website, I'm showing you a picture of what this is going to look like when it's done. We're going to make the stringer. And take a look at the stringer. You'll notice that it sits flat on top of this concrete pad, and then it cuts into this platform at the top. So we need to make this stringer, and if you look on my directions here, it says the two stringers are 2 by 12s And the real dimension for a 2 by 12 if you'll remember, is one and a half by 11 and a half. So let's go do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create that one and a half by eleven and a half inch board, and you can do that anywhere you want. I'm going to take a rectangle, and you'll see I'm just kind of laying this out. So I'm going to type in. You'll, if you look in the lower right, it's giving me the seven foot dimension first. So um, I'm going to go. Let's make this thing like six feet long, and then we'll make it the one. Here's where the 1.5 inch thick board is. So that's the end of the board. Now we just need to pull this up and make it the 11 and a half, so 11.5. So there we go. So that's the size of the piece of wood, except for the length you can see is way off, but that's okay. We're going to start with it really short, and we're going to make this work. So the first thing I want to do is I need to group this. If you don't group it, it's not going to work right. So let's group it, and then I'm going to take, <clears throat> and I'm going to drop this corner right here, on the corner of one of the steps. It really doesn't matter at this point which one you drop it on. So I'm going to grab it and I'll drop it on the corner of one of those steps. So now what I've got is my stringer attached to this corner and I can now rotate this up so that it's at the correct angle. So let's do that. I'll hit Q for rotate. I'm going to grab this corner. We'll just come out here a little bit. It doesn't matter how far. And I can rotate up and now you can see I can just go touch one of those steps and now my stringer is at the perfect angle. It's exactly right. Now I can move it down, and I think I'm just going to move it straight down here on the z-axis. You can see the blue line that's following me. I'm going to move it down so it's somewhat centered on the stairs. That looks pretty good. So now I've got a stringer that's there hanging on the side of my steps. So if you're thinking ahead, what do I need to do now? Well, the right answer to that is it's a group, so I have to double click on it, and I'm going to push pull this down, and I can pull it down anywhere here. It doesn't really matter how far I pull it down, but what I'm going to do is pull it down so that it hits this roughly the corner of this. I, can, I think I'm going to go a little bit past it. And then I'm going to take this end and pull it up, past here because I'm just going to trim off all the extra that's there. So now i got one stringer in. <clears throat> You're going to make one stringer, make it perfect, and then copy it over to the other side. So now that I've got this stringer done, I can take and I'm going to draw a line from here to here so that I can push this surface back. And I'm going to turn on x-ray now so that you can see what I'm doing. Down here you've got the extra board hanging out and if I use push-pull I can push this back now and you'll see what it did is it cut it off right there. I'll turn the x-ray back off. So you can see what I've done. I've cut it so it's perfectly flat sitting on that concrete pad. So that's one end finished. You're going to do the same thing up here, but it's going to be a little more complex because you've got to cut around this object up here. So we'll do that in the next video.